this video we are going to do uh, we, are, we are going to add our products categories and also variants so first we need to check on our taxes whether we are charging tax or we are not charging tax so in this scenario we are not going to be charging tax let's go to accounting so if you are not charging if you will be charging tax you just need to skip this then you go to config, uh, configuration then taxes then you can just deactivate the deactivate the so tax is no longer being charged which is VAT and no longer charging VAT we deactivate our VAT so first we want to go back to home then go to inventory uh, we need to make sure that our variants are activated because we are going to be working with variants but if you are not working with variants you need to skip on this stage so make sure the variant is ticked if it's not ticked make sure you tick it and click save after that we need to go to configurations and create our store groups my internet so we need to go to configurations and product categories so these are like our store groups so i'm going to create a store group here and i'm going to call it a i'm going to group maybe utensils utensils so this is going to be a group for keeping all our store group for all for our utensils in the kitchen so we are going to have our expense account here our expense account we are going to call it cost of goods sold so I can click on this cost of goods sold is now sorted. So the reason for you for doing this is that I uh, will be able to check our profits in the profit loss account. So you go to in the evaluation, click on automated there. So make sure that is automated. Then you click on create. So our group is automatically created. So after that, we now go to products. Then products again here. We now want to add our actual products in the system. Uh, then you click on create. So our first utensil is going to be a silver spoon or a metal spoons. Let me call them metal spoons. Metal, let me say metal teaspoon. Metal teaspoon. And then we go to, so this is a product description or a product name. And then product type always make sure that it's storable type. Anything that is storable, we put storable there. And then we put our selling price. So let's say our selling price is going to be 50 cents. I put 50 cents. Taxes we have already disabled them. So if we didn't disable them, they were going to appear here. And then we go to cost. Our cost is going to be 35 cents, which is the cost of buying this. And then we go to product category. I can remove there and put uh, utensils. So utensils is my group, and then I go to product reference. Uh, product reference. This is the group for where I can put the code. It's not a group; it's a code. So I can say MT11. This is the code for my for my product or the barcode or the code. After that, I go to attributes and variants. Here, I'm going to be varying them by color. So I can say color here. Uh, so color is already colors is already there in the system. If it wasn't there, I was going to click on create. So I'm going to pick colors. It's already there. And then values, I'm going to put the values for my colors. Uh, so let's say I'm going to select blue here. Uh, blue. So let's say we put a blue spoon. I click on blue. And then let's say we put a yellow spoon. So yellow is already there. I can click on yellow. Uh, so let's say these are going to be our variants blue and yellow and then here you can click on to pick the picture so I've already downloaded the picture there so you can just pick on the picture and then you click on create so that is how you create all your items in the system so you can click on products here you can see all the list of products that you have in the system uh, so you can click on this one and let's say you want to edit it yeah, so here you can see our products uh, and our attributes maybe you want to add color you can also come and add color here say black so black is already there i can tick on black so i can click on create so items already automatically added back into the system 
with the modification that we've done for adding another extra variant. Uh, click on product. So here you can see our spoon is showing us three variants. Uh, so that's it for adding products into the system.